Hey guys, Miss Diaz here. Thank you so much, Miss Masenzio, for nominating me for the Read Aloud Challenge. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't work, but that's okay, because I'm just going to do some voiceover while I'm reading. I'm going to read The Bad Guys, which is a hilarious graphic novel or comic book series. I love it, and I hope you love it. As a disclaimer, there are many different characters, so I'm going to read in different voices. I hope that's okay. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Do, 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 do. Panic at the dog pound. We interrupt this program to bring you a breaking news story. Tiffany Fluffett is our reporter on the scene. Tiffany, what can you tell us? Thanks, Chuck. Well, there have been shocking scenes at the dog pound today. It seems some kind of crazed gang burst in, smashed down a wall, then drove away in a very loud hot rod car, causing 200 terrified puppy dogs to run away in a fright. I have missed with me Mr. Graham Plonker, Chief of Dog Pound Security. Mr. Plonker, how would you describe these monsters? Uh, well, it all happened so fast, but I'm pretty sure there were four of them. I mean, there was definitely a wolf, a really mean-looking wolf with pointy teeth. And there was a snake, a very ugly snake, who also seemed very cranky for some reason. Then, uh, there was a young lady, uh, or possibly a gigantic shark. It was hard to tell which. And, oh yeah, there was also some kind of little nasty little fish. Maybe a sardine. Not sure. But, Mr. Plonker, you would say that these villains seemed dangerous? Oh, yes, Tiffany. They're dangerous, all right. In fact... I'd say we're all dealing with some serious bad guys. Chapter one. Okay, let's try that again. What's the guy talking about? We saved those puppy dogs. It was a rescue. We're the good guys here. And for the last time, I'm not a sardine. I'm a piranha. See, wolf. No one is ever going to believe we're good guys. I'm getting out of here before the cops come looking for us. Oh no you don't, Mr. Snake. We're not going to quit now. We're just getting started. Don't forget how good it felt to rescue those dogs. All we need to do now is to make sure that everyone can see that we're heroes. We just need to do some Think so awesome that the whole world will sit up and take notice. What did you have in mind, Mr. Wolf? This sunny side chicken farm. You want us to bring it to a chicken farm? Chickens? Did you say chickens? A chicken farm? But that little chicky looks happy. She doesn't need to be rescued. Oh, really? Well, take a look inside. Sunny side chicken farm, fellas. 10,000 chickens stuffed into tiny cages 24 hours a day with no sunlight and no room to run and play. But that's awful. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. What are we waiting for? We need to set those little chicky babies free! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! What's up with Mr. Snake? I don't know. I guess he just really loves chickens. <sighs> well, hello. Are you okay, man? <sighs> Oh, yes, sorry. I was just thinking of the chickens that are delicious. I mean, delightful. And I think we need to save them all right to know. Oh, if it only were that simple, my friend. But I'm afraid I have some bad news. Sunnyside Chicken Farm is impossible to break in. It's a maximum security chicken farm with steel walls that are 30 feet high and 8 feet thick. There are no windows and all have doors are heavily guarded. And even if you did get inside, you'd be caught instantly because if you touch the floor, an alarm goes off. If you touch the walls, an alarm goes off. 
And if you walk into the laser beams, an alarm goes off. Did you say laser beams? Why are you even showing this to us, Chico? We don't even have skills to pull off a job like this. No, we don't. But I know a guy who does. Ooh. Me! <laughs> okay, guys, that was the end of chapter one, The Bad Guys. I hope you loved it. It's so interesting of all these different characters. They're trying to be good guys, but for some reason, they're always ending up becoming a bad guy. Here are some questions for you to think about. Who are the characters in the text? How are they described? What do the characters want? What is stopping them from getting what they want? And what do you think will happen in chapter two? Again, if you want me to read more chapters of this text, just let me know in the comments below. But next up, I nominate Miss Barry in first grade to do the next read aloud challenge. Thank you guys for listening. Have a great day.